Okay, so we're going to look at how to insert and update a table of contents in Microsoft Word 2003. So if you go to the Insert menu and choose Reference, and then Index and Tables. The dialog box that comes up has several options, including Table of Contents, Table of Figures, Table of Authorities. So we're going to choose the Table of Contents tab. And the default as it has it set up is probably okay, but you can uh, see here you can decide whether you want to show the page numbers, right align the page numbers so they're neatly along the right hand margin. You can choose how you want the heading to link with the number, the number of levels you want to show, we'll come back to levels in a minute. And options there you can choose how many levels you want to show. Okay, as I said the default is okay. So it puts in this automatic text. Now you see here a new uh, menu has come into our menu bar and if that doesn't come up you can right click on the menu bar and choose outlining okay so mine disappeared there so I just need to right click again on the menu bar choose outlining and now what I want to do is for each of my heading labels I want to choose a level so the introduction is the title of my chapter so I'm going to give that level 1 this is the first section here background theory so I'm going to call that level 2 this is a subsection of the first section, so I'm going to give that level 3, and so on. This is a second section, so I'm going to call that level 2. Okay, now we want to update our table of contents. We can do this in two ways. We can right click on the auto text and choose update field, or we can click on the update TOC button on the menu bar. And you see here now each section, subsection, and sub subsection is indented slightly more, and we have the page numbers there on the right hand side. OK, so let's just change the page number to see what that looks like. I'll insert a page break and move that bit onto the next page. And now if I go back up and update my table of contents, you see here that the page number, I'll update the entire table, you see here the page number updates to number 2. So it's very easy.